The Astra television satellite is tonight on course to beam 16 new channels to Britain after a successful rocket launch from French Guiana last night. If everything goes according to plan, the first of the new services will start early next year. Three, two, one, top. Ariane was launched last night successfully, but it's still a tense time for the satellite broadcasters. Two crucial stages remain before the Astra satellite on board is ready to deliver the promised television revolution. The satellite has yet to be correctly positioned, and then test signals will be sent from the Astra headquarters in Luxembourg to see if it works. If all goes according to plan, the Astra footprint will cover most of Western Europe. It'll beam down 16 new channels, including sport, news and film. For those at Rupert Murdoch's Sky Television, who hope to provide six of the new channels, it's a tense waiting game. Builders are rushing to finish their new headquarters in West London in time for the planned February launch. But with only two months to go, the dishes needed to receive the channels are not yet in the shops. So are the manufacturers holding back in fear the satellite may not work? I really, I think you're kind of being too sinister and trying to read into why there's no equipment on the marketplace. It's like, you know, it's asking why aren't, aren't there any cars available uh, if petrol hasn't been invented. Um, it's as simple as that. And for potential buyers, a word of caution from an expert. I'd really want to know how it works before I invest in this. I'd like to see a demonstration of the pictures in good weather as well as bad, because there are some people say that maybe when the rain pours down, some of these pictures from space will not actually be of very high quality. We'll have to see whether that's true or not. Ariane last night brought the TV revolution nearer, but there's still several stages to go yet before the new channels are on the screen.